Um, so, uh, great that you asked me that question because um, there's a panel that uh, I'll be part of in two days uh, where we'll be, we'll be discussing uh, um, gender-based, uh, uh, you know, uh, online hate speech and and um, in the context of overall content moderation and regulation and the challenges that that presents. The uh, idea that content moderation and um, hate speech and free speech are somehow um, at odds, well, that, that content moderation is somehow going to uh, eliminate or hinder hate speech is problematic. We have to stop seeing these things as a dichotomy. Um, in order to enable free speech, we need content moderation. We need speech that is meaningful and free. Uh, we need to create uh, you know, online spaces where people can communicate without fear of being ostracized for their gender, for their race, for their ethnicity, for their caste, for uh, whatever number of issues that we already struggle with in society. So. Um, we have to get beyond that sort of, uh, you know, that binary dichotomous sort of thinking which polarizes us and makes us believe that somehow free speech is antithetical to the idea of moderation. We've always had some forms of regulation on speech. That is how we are able to communicate as a society, as a polity. Um, we have to have no-go areas and those uh, you know, and politics and policy makers have to step up and create those no-go areas. We have to put our foot down and it's high time we do so, otherwise we will lose the rights to public space that we have gained with such such hard work and uh, efforts for the over the last you know couple of centuries it will be a, such a tragedy that with the means the media that brings us all together that brings us all together as a as a global platform of being able to communicate with anybody across the world is also the technology that will end up fracturing uh, us into tiny little silos that prevents us from being able to see eye to eye that prevents us from being uh, feeling like we are in safe spaces and these you know and that that would be just the biggest irony of, of today's era